episode 15. You are listening to the new Glam Gal podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal, welcome back to the podcast. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, accessories. Normally, when I have a new client, they want to jump into a list of items that they can put together so they can put an outfit on and they never address their thoughts. So typically, I work on their thoughts. We do outfit creation. Towards the end of our time together, we start to talk about the finer points, the finer details of style. And one of the finer points is accessories. So it's one of my favorite topics because when I get my clients to the stage where we're talking accessories, I know that they've had a total transformation about how they feel about themselves, their wardrobe, and we talk accessories to sort of carry them to level 2.0 of style and confidence. So if you're not quite there yet, I still want you to listen in because a lot of times accessories can be very daunting for people who believe that they're not stylish. They'll say things like, I don't wear jewelry, I don't care about accessories, it's a hassle, I don't want a bunch of stuff dangling off of me. These are words I've heard from actual clients. So I want to walk you through some options for accessories that don't necessarily mean you're going to spend extra time in the morning getting ready. It's not going to require a big expense from you, and it takes little to no effort. But before I walk you through the practical, we have to always do what? The mindset work style starts with confident thoughts. If you need a refresher on this, check out episode one on why style matters and I go into that in depth. So for our thought work today, I want you to really change your mindset about accessories if you're one of those people who thinks they're a hassle. Why do I care so much? It's just an accessory. I care because for most of my clients, when we start talking accessories, they're ready to elevate their style because their thoughts are elevated. And they feel like they have that little something that's missing when they put together their own outfits and they've come to their own sense of style. Accessories are like a period at the end of a well-written sentence. They're that little bit of pluck, that little bit of pizzazz. And I feel like everyone needs a little more pizzazz. Who doesn't want more pizzazz? So I want you to go from thinking that it's a hassle, it's a lot of work, it can be expensive, to just being curious. If you can open up your mind to curiosity, ask yourself questions that start something like this. What if it's possible that I could accessorize? What would it be like if I put on some accessories? It's possible that I might enjoy accessorizing. It's possible that I may like the way I look with just a small accessory or two. Wouldn't it be nice? If you ask yourself these sort of open-ended, curiosity-provoking questions, then your brain is wired to answer the questions that you ask it. Typically, we trend towards negative, so we get a lot of negative answers in response to our negative questions. So if you're asking things like, why would I accessorize? That's dumb. It's a lot of work. Your brain's going to agree with you and be like, yeah, it is a lot of work. That is stupid. Why should I even bother? I don't like the way I look anyway. And your brain will agree with you. Yeah, why should you bother? So instead of getting you to that unicorn magical place where you believe accessories are amazing, just like I do, maybe you won't go unicorn yet. We'll just open up your brain to some curiosity. Wouldn't it be nice? What would it be like? I might enjoy it if. Start asking yourself these types of questions and see what kind of answers your brain comes up with. You can do this in any area of life, particularly if there's something you're dreading or you've already convinced yourself previously that you hate it. What if you like it? What if you could change your own mind? And my darling, you always can change your own mind. You can even blow your own mind, 
by being a badass. Just saying. So that's really your thought work today. For those of you who are resistant to the idea of accessories on any level, start asking yourself these curiosity-seeking questions. Open yourself up. Now for the style portion. I want you to think of accessories and accessorizing daily as a practice. For me, personally, I have a lazy butler that I leave right next to my keys. So as I walk out the door, I have a number of bracelets, necklaces, and rings to choose from every day. Once a week, I'll put everything away and I'll put some new items in the lazy butler so I have a new variety to bring. This is a very simple, basic way of accessorizing. Very simple pieces of jewelry. Now, I prefer to layer bracelets. Sometimes I even layer necklaces. Sometimes I wear multiple rings at once. That's like a teeny tiny step above just your wedding ring, which if you're wearing your wedding ring or a watch daily, honey, you're already accessorizing. Just saying. A second layer to think about is perhaps a scarf. A lot of us own scarves and have no idea what the hell to do with them, which is totally fine. This is one of those times where I would say, Think some curious thoughts, open up your brain a little, and go do some exploring on Pinterest. Go do some exploring on YouTube, how to tie a scarf. There's so many inventive, creative ways, and not all of them will work for you. There are times where I have tried some scarf tying, and I look like one of those sad clowns from like the 70s, you know those pictures I'm talking about, but there's like big ruffles under their neck, and it's just been disastrous and really funny and a lot of fun. And I was open to the experience because I was curious about how it was going to turn out. So I would encourage you to do the same. Another way you can think about accessorizing is your handbag. I have quite the handbag collection that I've accumulated over time. I actually make it a point to change out my handbag once a week. Now, you don't have to be that crazy about it. Even once a month. But there's something about taking on a new handbag and seeing how it goes with whatever I'm going to pick out that particular week. One of my favorite things to do is to do an all black outfit week at work and then use my super bright hot pink handbag. It just punches it up a notch. So that's one way you can use a purse to your advantage. You can take very basic base items and punch them up with a pop of color in your accessories. Now, another potential accessory that you could consider is using a belt. I know it's kind of old school, but if you look at outfits from like the 50s or 60s or even 80s where belts were commonly in use to cinch in a waist or to blouse an oversized shirt or sweater, there's something very attractive and appealing about it from turning an everyday item that would just look like a slouchy shirt or sweater and blousing it up or cinching it in. It's fun. Again, accessories are supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be played with. It could be a game. And of course, there's always shoes. And for those of you who have a really hard time wearing heels all day, one fun thing I really would encourage you to do is to invest in a stylish pair of sneakers that fit your lifestyle and rock them with a dress. Rock them with a suit or with a tuxedo. You'd be surprised how your style can develop over time, even if you're wearing sneakers, you're not required to wear high heels all the time. It's not a fashion rule. It's not a thing anymore. So I would encourage you that wherever you are in your lifestyle, if you have plantar fasciitis, if you have wide feet, if you're pregnant and your feet have grown, if you've lost weight and your shoes no longer fit you, which happens to a lot of women, then I would encourage you to sort of explore how far you can extend a sneaker, what you can pair it with. Again, curiosity. Ask yourself the right questions. What can I pair this with? What might this look great next to? How can I use this to elevate clothes I wear all the time? So here's the sort of key to styling anything. Start with base items that you love. Now, if you need help walking through how to create an outfit and create base items that you love, I would encourage you to go to judithgatan.com, click on the five-day challenge. You'll have access to the workbook where I walk you through the process of picking out base items. 
base items are a dress, your pants, your shirt. Those are the key base items to make up an outfit. The next step is to layer on the accessories. A cardigan, a jacket, a blazer. Layer on again. Scarf, necklace, bracelets. You could even be so pared down as to just have on a fabulous large ring or a great pair of earrings and no other accessories. Again, Open up your brain to see how much fun this can all be. Ultimately, really, why is this so important to me? Because I find that so many of my clients really believe that they're stuck because they've been telling themselves really negative things and asking themselves the wrong question for a really long time. Why do I look like this? Why do I always feel this way? Why bother? It doesn't matter to anybody. Why should I care? Those kinds of questions are going to give you some pretty crap answers. So if I can get you to be curious and play and engage a little bit in small things like accessories, then I can open up your brain to the possibility that there are better questions to ask yourself, which will get you different thoughts, different set of feelings, different actions, and ultimately different results. So style matters, my darling. Accessories matter. So I want you to play with this this week, Glam Gal. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to ask yourself some curiosity-provoking questions. You can borrow the ones I offered in the podcast. See what your brain comes up with. Your style mission, should you choose to accept it, is to play with some accessories. I would love to see what you're up to. Use the hashtag NewGlamGal on Instagram. All right, let's get it, GlamGal. Miss J out.